We're going to start class by reading this great story called The Girl Who Heard Colors. I like this story because the girl in the story reminds me of myself and she might remind you of you too. The Girl Who Heard Colors. Jillian loved the world with all her five senses. She loved the tickling touch of her bunny's whiskers on her cheek. She loved the taste of warm maple syrup on waffles. She loved the smell of wet grass. She loved the sight of wild geese flying across the blue sky. And she loved the sound of their honking. But what she loved most of all was seeing the colors of everything she heard. When she heard a dog barking, she saw bright red. Woof, woof. When she rang the bell on her bike, she saw silver. The wind in the pine trees blew soft gray. The rain sang light purple. Soon, Jillian was old enough to go to school. She loved school with all her five senses. She loved the cool, slippery feel of the floor and the tart taste of her apple at snack time. She loved the smell of markers when her teacher wrote on the whiteboard. And still she saw the colors of everything she heard. The sound of the school bell was as orange as a pumpkin. Ring, ring. Recess! Her teacher's voice was as green as a frog. At recess, the children sounded as gold and brown as the leaves on the trees. Then one day, something strange happened. A lunchbox dropped on the floor and everything in it fell out with a loud clatter. What was that? asked the teacher. Yellow, Jillian replied. The children stopped what they were doing and looked at her. Yellow? A spilled lunchbox is yellow? They began to laugh at Jillian. Jillian felt sad with all her five senses. She felt the warm tears on her cheeks. She tasted the salt of her tears on her tongue. She smelled the spilled grape juice. The children laughed harder and harder. When she heard their laughter, she saw inky black. Ha 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 hee! Her teacher was worried, so she told Jillian's parents. Jillian's parents were worried, so they took her to the doctor. The doctor examined her eyes and ears. There was nothing wrong with them. Whatever could be wrong with Jillian, everyone wondered. Jillian whispered softly to herself, I'm as sad as a cloud. Then came music day. The musician opened his bag of instruments. He handed out tambourines and cymbals, the whistles and cowbells and maracas and drums. The children took turns playing all the instruments. Except Jillian. She covered her ears and squeezed her eyes shut. What's the matter, asked the children. What's the matter, asked her teacher. What's the matter, asked the musician. And Jillian said, I am hearing too many colors at once. Hearing colors? The children exclaimed, what do you mean? When I hear sounds, I see colors, Jillian told them. Me too, said the music musician excitedly. When I hear sounds, I see colors too. In fact, lots of people have a very special extra sense. It even has a name of its own, synesthesia. Synesthesia. When Jillian heard the musician say that word, she saw every shade of blue. She began to smile. Then the musician smiled, her teacher smiled, and all the children smiled. Jillian loved the world again with all her five senses. 
and her special extra one. All right, so what we're gonna make is a senses sketchbook today. It's going to be a mini sketchbook made from one sheet of paper that we fold together and it will have about five sheets of paper and you'll be able to decorate the front and the back of it as well. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take a plain white piece of paper and we're going to fold it in half. Some of you call this hamburger style and that's just fine or book style. And now that we have our paper folded in half, we're going to take this top layer and we're going to fold it back toward our original fold. So we take the top layer and just fold it back to meet the top original fold. You might remember doing this before. Okay, but now we're going to turn it over and we're gonna take this leftover layer and fold it back toward the original center fold again. And what we've essentially made is this W shape. So now we're just gonna keep this folded for, for this moment and we're gonna take this so it's long and we're gonna fold it in half this way. So let me show you that again. We had it folded like this, and then we're gonna take the two short edges, so the top and the bottom short edges, and fold to meet the edges real nice, crisp and clean, and then crease. Okay, so this is gonna be a mini sketchbook, like I said, and then we're gonna open it just enough that we can see this W. So if you've got it turned like that, get it to where the middle pump is up. And we're going to take our scissors and we're only going to cut one slice. We're not cutting through the entire piece of paper, but where we have this hump in the middle, where we have the hump in the middle, there's a crease. There's a crease right there. And we're only going to cut that crease only. So take your scissors and cut on the middle crease. You can watch me first. Cut on the middle crease just until you get to the intersection right there. Okay. And then we're going to flip it open just, just enough that we've made a square. Okay. So we cut that center crease. We're going to flip it open just until we have a square. And now all we're gonna do is we're just going to crease everything already on the crease that we already have if needed. And then we're gonna bring the pages together book style to make our mini sketchbook. Okay, so you can see that you have a front and you have a page one, page two, three, four, five, six, and then a back cover. And you can do a lot with a mini sketchbook that you might not realize. We're gonna talk about our five senses and we're gonna use a combination of things. Um, we're gonna start with either colored pencils or markers, your choice and we're going to decide what to put on our front cover. So I think it would be a good idea to start with our name design, okay? You did a name design one time, um, and we're gonna do that in a different way this time. So pick your favorite color. Today my favorite color is purple, it changes sometimes. And on the front, you can put your first name, okay? And if, if it's gonna open this way, which is a good idea, 
then you could decide how you want to write your name. Do you want to write it diagonal, which would be interesting? Do you want to write it vertical? Or do you want to write it horizontal? So you decide, I want you to be creative and everybody's will look a little different. And then you can write it in any font. The font is the, the text style that you're going to use. And then you can decorate your, your front of this. And I am going to add the number five because we're going to do five senses. So I'm going to put, and I'm going to put a little apostrophe and an S. It can just, just kind of hang out there because that's my first name. Five, and then I'm going to put senses at the bottom. S E N S E S. Five senses, okay? And then you can use any other colors that you would like. Remember to put the caps and snap them back on so that they don't dry out while you're working. And I also love green, so I'm gonna choose green and I'm going to decorate it. So this is where your own creativity comes into play because I love flowers, but you might like something else. And so you can decorate it oops, however you would like. Be creative. While you're decorating, think about the colors that you hear if you have synesthesia. And if you don't, just think about what Jillian must have felt when she could hear colors and has that extra sense. Okay, so I've decorated my front cover. And then we're gonna think about what we're gonna put on page one. So let's start with the sense of hearing. Okay, so if you hear a sound, what color do you think it would be? So either you do hear a color and you would color it like that. So for example, if whenever you hear um, a bell ring, the, the color that comes to your mind is silver, then maybe you could draw a silver bell, okay? And not everybody has that uh, sixth sense, so to speak. So you might just use your imagination of what colors you think that a sense of hearing would allow you to see, if you could see that sound, okay? And then we're gonna continue throughout our sketchbook doing the other senses, okay? So we will continue working on that together and we'll talk more about how synesthesia or just using your imagination to draw the sounds uh, or the, the senses um, in colors.